Hey there, welcome back to our tutorial series on YouTube, proudly sponsored by the O3 Schools Jump app. So in our today's class, the topic is religious reforms in Judah. And this is in 2 Kings chapter 22 and 23. I want to look at religious reforms in Judah. Now, very quickly, reforms mean, you know, changes in something that is defective, that is broken or negative. So King Josiah made religious reforms in Judah. But before we look at the religious reforms made by King Josiah, let's take a look at what led to those reforms. Now, King Josiah was eight years Josiah was eight years old when he became king. And he ruled for 31 years. Bible recorded that he was an upright king. He did what was right in the sight of God and he walked in the ways of his father, David. Now, during Josiah's reign, in the 18th year of his reign, to be precise, he sent Shaphan to the high priest, which is Hilkiah, as at that time. Hilkiah was the high priest. So Hilkiah was to count all the money that had been brought to the house of the Lord and he was to hand over the money to the workmen repairing the damages in the house of God and for them to get materials that they needed for the repairs. And the king didn't want the workmen accounting for how they spent the money because they were honest men. Now when Shaphan got to Hilkiah, Hilkiah told him about the book of the law that he had found in the house of the Lord. Shaphan read the book, and when he returned to the king to report back that the king's instructions had been followed, he brought along with him the book of the law that Hilkiah, sorry, that Hilkiah had found, and he read it to the king. When King Josiah heard what was in the book of the law, he tore his clothes, and he sent people to inquire of the Lord concerning that book that had been found. They went to a prophetess named Huda, and God said that he would bring calamity on the land and its inhabitants because they had forsaken him and they were burning incense to other gods. But however, since King Josiah was humbled, like he humbled himself before God, he would not see the calamity that God would bring on the land. His reign would be peaceful. So King Josiah gathered all of Judah, Elders, priests, prophets, you know, small men, great men, ordinary. He gathered all of Judah in the house of the Lord and he read the book of the Lord to them, making these reforms. So let's see Josiah's religious reforms. First is that he renewed their covenant. He renewed their covenant with God. He vowed that he would obey God and keep all of God's commandments as it was written in the book of the Lord that had just been found with all his heart. So the people agreed with him. So the, this new covenant was necessary because they were ignorant of the first covenant in the book of the law. The book of the law was just discovered and they, re, they discovered that they had been living, you know, wrong with God. So there was a need for them to renew their covenant, re-pledging themselves back to God, re-pledging that they would obey God, you know, they will obey his commandments and follow him. 
she removed all articles made for Baal, Asherah, and other gods from God's temple. So he removed all articles made from Baal, Asherah, and the other gods from God's temple. So when the people of Judah sinned against God, living in ignorance, they desecrated God's temple, bringing in materials for other smaller gods. So another reform that Josiah made was to take out all of these things that were meant for other gods. He took them out and he burned them. He removed idolatrous priests ordained by previous kings by previous kings so he removed idolatrous priests ordained by previous kings that's priests that burned incense to, incense to Baal to the sun, the moon, constellations in high places around Judah and Jerusalem, King Josiah removed such priests. He tore down ritual boots of perverted persons. In the house of the Lord. Yes, yes, very good. So perverted persons raised boots in God's temple and King Josiah tore them down. He broke down high places in the gates. And in the cities, so King Josiah broke down high places raised by you know previous kings that were in the gates and around the city. He broke down all such high places. Then we have he defied Tophet. So no man would make his son or daughter pass through fire to Molech. So King Josiah defiled Tophet. So no man would make his son or daughter pass through fire to Molech. Molech was a god, a god of the Moabites. But you know, since the children of Judah had forsaken God, they took the says worshipping every any other god they could find. And some people worship this Molech, the god of the Moabites. Have he removed? The horses, past kings, are dedicated to the sun at the entrance of the temple. He removed the horses past kings had dedicated to the sun at the temple's entrance. He also removed the officer and burned the chariots. Another reform King Josiah made was that he broke down altars made to other gods. Mm. 
He broke down altars made to other gods in God's temple. Wherever these altars were, you know, in the upper chamber, on the roof, in Bethel, wherever, King Josiah broke down all the altars. He also broke sacred images. And all wooden images. Then he went to Samaria. Destroyed all the shrines and high places. And he executed their priests. He went to Samaria and destroyed all the shrines that had been raised, all the high places that had been built, and he executed the priests that usually stayed in those shrines and high places. Next, he reinstated the Feast of Passover. as it was stated in the book of law that had been discovered. So they were celebrating the feast of Passover before until King Josiah made these religious reforms and he reinstated the feast of the Passover. Lastly, he put away all those who consulted spiritists and mediums household gods and idols God calls these things abominations. Gods, idols, spirits, mediums, they are an abomination to God. So King Josiah put away all of those who consulted or had anything to do with spirits and mediums, household gods and idols. Now, this is some of the religious reforms that Josiah made in Judah after the book of the law had been found and they discovered that they had been living ignorant of what God actually wanted from them. So Josiah humbled himself and he gathered all of Judah, read out the book of the law to them and made these reforms. He renewed their covenant with God. He removed all articles made for Baal, Asherah, and other gods from God's temple. He removed idolatrous priests ordained by previous kings. He tore down ritual boots of perverted persons in the house of God. He broke down high places in the gates and in the city. He defiled Tophet so no man would make his son or daughter pass through fire to Molech. He removed the horses past kings had dedicated to the sun at the entrance of the temple. He broke down altars made to other gods in God's temple. He broke down sacred pillars and all wooden images. He went to Samaria, destroyed all the shrines and high places, and also executed their priests. He reinstated the feast of Passover. And he also put away those who consulted spiritists, mediums, household gods, and idols. Now, after all these reforms, although God's anger against Judah did not lessen. His word concerning Josiah came to pass, and Josiah died in battle with Pharaoh of Egypt. He did not witness the calamity that God brought upon Judah, which we'll examine in the next class. Now we'll move over to the O3 Schools Jump app to get questions that have been asked on this topic previously. But before then, please don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on new classes. Here's a question. The workmen who repaired the house of the Lord during Josiah's religious reforms were not made to account for the money given them because they 
A, did not receive the money directly. B, lacked accounting capabilities. C, bribed the temple officials. D, we are honest workmen. D, they were honest workmen. The king didn't want them giving accounts because he believed that they were honest workmen. Another question here says, the reforms of King Josiah were made possible by D, A, discovery of the book of the law, B, encouragement he received from Hezekiah, C, sacrifices he made to God, D, destruction of the chariots of Ahaz. The reforms were made possible because of the book of the law that was discovered by the high priest at that time, Hilkiah. So the correct answer here is A, discovery of the book of the law. Another question says, one of the reforms of King Josiah was that A, he worshipped at the brook Kidron. B, he defiled Tophet in the valley of the sons of Hinnom. C, he allowed the worship of Asherah. D, the priests were allowed to worship in the temple. The answer is B, he defiled Tophet so that people would not make their children pass through fire to Molech, a god of the Moabites. So the correct answer there is B, he defiled Tophet. We also have the pronouncement of God on Josiah for being penitent was that A, God would support him to repair the temple. B, Josiah would conquer all his enemies. C, Josiah would have a peaceful reign. D, God would grant him long life. The answer is C, Josiah would have a peaceful reign. God was angry with Judah and he had already vowed to bring calamity on the land. But since Josiah was penitent, like he states, he states in the question, God promised that the calamity would not be during his reign. So he, was, he would have a peaceful reign, option C. Now, don't forget to download the O3 Schools Jam app, activate it so you can have access to more of these.